I'm standing here at the crown face of an avalanche which I triggered. We're just west of Daisy Pass, which is right over here behind me, in the mountains near Cook City. And what we're on is a steep, wind-loaded slope just below a ridge crest. In fact, this is part of the cornice right here. And what happened here is that last week we had warm, sunny days and clear, cold nights, which created, on top of this hard surface, created a thin layer of weak, faceted snow. Then we've gotten some snow, the wind has blown a little bit, and it's created this wind slab here. As soon as I stepped down just off the ridge, I was able to trigger this avalanche. It ran about 300 feet across and 500 feet vertical. So what you're going to want to watch out for then are these steep, wind-loaded slopes. This is a southeast aspect. and I'm standing over on the other side of the avalanche now. This is where I triggered it. The reason we came over here is that yesterday we saw evidence of a natural avalanche on the other side of these rocks. That was the best clue for us that slopes at this elevation and at this aspect are likely unstable. So we came over here trying to find that avalanche. We couldn't find it. Came down this ridge. I was just sidestepping down the ridge just a little bit. Stepped just below the edge and then triggered the avalanche.